Huzaifa ibn al-Yaman, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The people used to ask Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about good, but I used to ask him about evil for fear that it might overtake me. So it's important to learn about evil in order to avoid and not fall victim to it. And as it said, عَرِفْتُ الشَّرْ لَا لِلشَّرْ وَلَكِنْ لِتُوَاقِيهِ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَعْرِفِ الشَّرْ يَقَعْ فِيهِ I knew evil not so that I could do evil, but so that I could protect myself from it. A person who doesn't know evil will fall into it. Here is the main question of this video. Who are the most wicked people? What are they doing with their lives? Would you like to know who they are so that we can avoid doing the same thing? So let's see what our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said about the most wicked people. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that the day of judgment would come when there were only most terribly wicked people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take away the souls of the believers by sending a pleasant wind like musk smell. Anyone with an autumn of faith will die. The worst people will remain. As a result, corruption will spread throughout the earth and the day of judgment will come. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu added, I heard Allah's messenger peace be upon him saying, it will be from among the most wicked people who will be living at the time when the hour will be established. What, what does, does the, the most, most wicked, wicked people, people look like? like? How, How would, would you describe, describe them? them? Have you ever seen a double-faced person? He who comes to some people with one face and to the others with the other face. He talks to people with love and praises them as if he was their close friend who wished them good. However, he's hiding the evil in his heart and doesn't love them. As soon as they turned their backs on him, he started talking badly about them, revealing their secrets, exposing them and saying things that weren't true about them to ruin their reputation. And he thinks when he does this, he would please all people. The truth is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would never be pleased with him or his actions. As Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he will be among the most wicked people on the Day of Judgment. Is, Is there, there more, more information, information about, about them? them? Yes, of course. Obviously, they aren't honest people and they walk among people doing slander and namima. When people are absent, they talk badly about them and break relationships. Is, Is there, there anything, anything else, else wicked, wicked people, people do? do? Yes. They discuss their private relationships with their wives with others. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, The most evil of the people to Allah on the day of resurrection will be the man who consults with his wife and then publicize her secrets. A man betrays his wife or a woman betrays her husband by speaking with others about their secret private relationship. But what, what about, about a man who swears when he disagrees with people, which causes people to avoid him due to his dirty tongue and evil actions? Is he one of the most wicked people? In fact, he is. Because of his evil and dirty language, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates that person. Therefore, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The worst people are those whom the people avoid or leave in order to save themselves from their dirty language or from their transgression. This hadith is applicable to people who swear aloud to frighten people, as well as gangsters using knives, guns and other weapons to scare people. May Allah protect us from their evil. What, what do you, you think, think of an, an old man who gambles, gambles drinks, drinks alcohol, alcohol and takes bribes? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was asked, which of the people is the worst? He peace be upon him said, he whose life is long and his deeds are bad. They live a long time, but they do bad things. They spend their lives disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They got old and don't want to stop. They are old and still hurting people with their words and actions. If they don't repent now, when will they repent? If they don't want to pray now, when will they pray? Now that we know the most wicked people, what about the best ones? How do they spend their days? Comment below if you know the answer to this question.
May Allah choose us to be one of the best people and grant us the Jannah. May Allah forgive me, my parents, and the believers when the Day of Judgment is established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.